Immigration policy should be generous. It should be fair. It should be flexible. With such a policy, we can turn to the world and to our past with clean hands and a clean conscience. La política de inmigración debe ser generoso, debería ser justo, debería ser flexible. Con una dicha política puede dar vuelta al mundo y en nuestro propio pasado uh, y con las manos limpias y una buena conciencia. Immigrationная политика должна быть щедрой, должна быть справедливой и должна быть гибкой. С такой политикой мы можем обратиться к миру, к нашему прошлому, с чистыми руками и чистой совестью. Do you think deporting illegal immigrants is against the American dream? Well, it, you know, it depends. I mean, if people, we still have to have secure borders and, you know, we, we need to have some border uh, control and I think that that's appropriate. But I think the real question you might be asking me is how about the 11 million people who have been living sometimes for decades in our, in our country who do not have uh, documentation. They've been raising their families here, they've been working here, they're part of our neighborhoods. Uh, they're intermixed with our neighbor, neighborhoods and our society. They certainly are now supporting the agricultural economy that could not exist without their presence. So I think that with uh, those folks, it is, it's uh, a recognition that we need some way to bring them in from the shadows so that they can become, uh, over time, participants in our society. And uh, I'm hopeful that someday the Congress will pass a, a comprehensive immigration reform package that will allow those families that have, uh, you know, pay their taxes, done hard work, get their children gone to school, not committed crimes, that if they can show that, that they can be part of the fabric of our, of, of our, our state and our, and our country. And I'm hopeful that that will happen. I think it will be good for the economy. I think it will be good for our kids who can be fully integrated into the school system. And I hope that that happens. The big problem is immigration has become a radioactive issue for politicians. Nobody wants to touch it because it's so controversial across virtually the entire country. The big problem is people see the cost of immigration is very high and the benefits is, is very low. So in that situation, they want to get very tough on immigrants. In my book, Brain Gain, though, I take the opposite stance. I argue that the costs are lower than people perceive and the benefits actually are higher. I love China. I love Mexico. Their leaders are too smart for us. We have no border. We will build a wall. Mexico will pay for the wall, by the way. They're building a wall. We're going to have a border. And people are going to come into our country, but they're going to come in through a legal process. They're not coming in the way they're coming in now, just walking in like nothing. Our state has good handle on immigration issues. However, the debates on immigration at the national level has become heated. The points of view that different candidates have proposed are varied and polarized. We should open America to immigrants. Too many people in the world live without proper education, sustenance, and houses. I believe our immigration system should be rebuilt, and I believe we need to open up America to immigrants because we are indebted to immigration. To say now is the time to find a better way to welcome the striving, hopeful immigrants who still see America as the land of opportunity. Now's the time to do this so we can strengthen our economy and strengthen our country's future. Think about it. We define ourselves as a nation of immigrants. That's who we are in our bones. Because when you talk about immigration, you're going to talk, end up talking about racial issues, right? Um, and so that always makes it a sensitive issue at national politics. It's something we have to talk about. But I think the problem is people are afraid to talk about it for being accused. Well, if you don't agree with me, you're a racist. Well, if you do agree with me, then you're a wonderful human being. And that causes people to just kind of become very defensive. Uh, but what we have is an immigration system that's not working. I think that regardless of what political party you're in, the status quo is not acceptable. Now, the answers about how to fix it range from everything on the far left to just blanket amnesty, which the American people are not w willing to do, uh, to massive deportation on the other side, which people are not willing to do. You know, uh, So I think what you have to do is come up with a system that deals with people who are already here, create a path to citizenship, whatever it would may be, but give them a chance to become legal. And then, uh, what we talked about, create a better system uh, that helps the next wave coming in 
do it without being forced into being criminals. And I think that our system right now almost forces people to be criminals.